Any history buff could spend a lot of time in this museum. There's stuff in here that's even older than the state of Montana, but with stuff that old, you need the right environment to make sure it's preserved. Great Falls museums attract plenty of tourists each year, the History Museum being no exception. They have multiple floors worth of archives and documents, some of which are very dated. Some even go back before Montana was even a state. I don't know if you can feel the temperature raise, but um, it's really not good for um, historic documents. With stuff that old, you need the right environment to store them in. Thanks to ARPA funding, that can now happen. The ARPA funding and support from the county is absolutely critical. Their allotted $121,000 will allow for additional HVAC, drywall, and temperature control for rooms that don't currently have them, prolonging the lifespan of the museum's historic residents. You just can't dig up this kind of funding. The documents in this room, many of them are over 100 years old. The temperature fluctuations are major. It's very hot today, and when we have um, insulation up and the HVAC system, this space will be conducive to preservation for these documents really that benefit all of Cascade County. Another museum that received funding is the CMR Museum. They're using their additional funds to offer more displays as well, thanks to $500,000 in ARPA funding, allowing for an additional building across from their current location to increase capacity by 25%, telling even more stories through the art they display. I think allowed organizations to be focused on their mission. Infrastructure dynamic of a, of a museum, right, is you need gallery space. And we're really blessed with generous areas where we can showcase our work, the work of Russell and other Western artists, but at the end of the day, we still have more art in our vault than we can put on display. We still have more shows that we would like to bring in than we have space where we can accommodate them. There's no final timeline yet for the projects, but they have until 2026 to be completed and get what they need to show more art and history to the community. In Great Falls, Asher Lind, MTN News.